All right. Well, welcome everyone. It's so good to see all of you here at Beautiful Faces Going Places Women's Success Network. I just want to say today is day five. I cannot believe that we're already on day five. Um, and where has the time gone? I hope you, you have had as much fun as I have had. I also hope you made some new connections and also some uh, great information and insights and intellectual capacity that you can now implement into your uh, business. So I'm super, super excited to wrap up today. Um, I want to give a shout out to Celeste Giordano, who actually stepped into, to, to, into today's presentation. Um, I know we had uh, our original speaker had something that came up. And, and I just want to say this is what it takes to have a team, um, what it takes for uh, teamwork to make the dream work, right? So thank Absolutely. you so much. I so appreciate uh, having you here um, with us at Beautiful Faces Going Places. So, but before we get started, I do want to share um, my screen because we have got some really cool stuff coming up here as we wrap up um, our week together here. Um, let's see here. So we're on day five here at Virtual Business Week. And um, I wanted to just share with you this opportunity that I have here at Beautiful Faces Going Places. After this week, so starting next week, we are officially launching our co-hosting opportunities. And um, it's all part of our global expansion project. And we are expanding by city, state, and country. So what you get with that is we actually provide the template. And I, want, I just want to share this opportunity with you um, and ask you if it's something you might be interested in or if you know of someone who would be a perfect co-host to actually co-host virtual online networking events. I provide the template and they provide their face and their voice and uh, what a great exposure opportunity it would be for them uh, to make new connections and also position themselves as a leader of a networking event and uh, drive connections and uh, lead generation for them to boost their sales. So I just wanted to share this opportunity with you guys since we spent this fabulous week together. Um, if you know of someone, I would appreciate a referral. Send them my way and then I can have a conversation with them as to what that looks like and what the benefits are for them. So um, that would be fabulous. Also, I know by now you all know where to find our events. They're all listed on our website as well as our uh, business Facebook page and our private Facebook page. So all of our upcoming events will be loaded onto these platforms. So tap into it, stay in the know uh, so that you can continue to uh, grow your uh, new connections here and friendships and relationships and all that good stuff. So um, also I wanted you to mark your calendars. Our next event is Thursday, August 27th. Uh, spark conversations and make new connections with Carol Walkner. She will be leading and facilitating uh, to spark your inner dragon. So um, come and join us for that. Mark your calendars um, and be sure just to register for that. It's going to be loads of fun, I, I guarantee you. And then let's see here, just a couple more announcements here. Um, at, towards the end, about one o'clock, we will do our uh, virtual networking in our breakout rooms. And here's what you need to do. It's basically your name and your company. And uh, what's your biggest takeaway from Celeste's presentation? And then who would you like to connect with? So with that being said, uh, we are going to jump into our presentation today of building a legacy business. Uh, ah, I can't speak today. Building a legacy business, finish 2020 strong. So after more than 40 years in sales and management for leading companies, Celeste Giordano Coaching launched her consulting business because she is fiercely passionate about helping individuals, sales teams, entrepreneurs, and business owners achieve real personal and financial success. As a master sales and business strategist, speaker, and consultant, Celeste partners with small to medium-sized businesses to develop the direct sales and network marketing skills, expertise, and attitude necessary to quickly double plus their income and become leaders in their fields. 
So please help me welcome Celeste Giordano. Celeste. Yeah, thank you so much, Carol. Thank you for that warm introduction. And thank you for always giving a platform for beautiful faces, going places uh, to come to and network and to build relationships and create camaraderie. So thank you. And the real hero, Carol, is your team. And I want to thank Marianne Bailey and all the other people that help put this together because it's, it, it does take a tribe and it does take a team to do this. I know that you are phenomenal, but you know what? Without the team, exactly. it's hard to be phenomenal. So <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you, Mary Ann Bailey for helping. <clears throat> all right, we're ready to get oh, started here. I um, muted, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay, Mary Ann. So, my pleasure. And um, we appreciate you. And I think you're gonna do my PowerPoint for me. I, pre I do believe that. So thank you so much. And I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. I think I've seen some familiar faces where maybe you've been on my presentation before. And, and if you have any questions, I really wanna be able to answer those. I'm gonna sort of, I'm not gonna breeze through these, this, this presentation, but I am gonna get to it so we can get to the heart and soul and I can answer any questions that you have because really this is all about you and helping you and anything that I can do to help and serve you grow your business. So let's get started with building a legacy business so you don't settle for the status quo when you were meant to leave a legacy. Okay, can you guys see the screen? Sure? Yes, ma'am, thank you so much, Marianne. Sure. So, so today what you're going to learn are the three C's of the legacy business mind shift, the four steps of a legacy business mind shift, the legacy business lead system, the best business operating strategies of a legacy business, uh, the legacy mind shift system. And I just want to bring to your attention today that today is Friday, August 21st. And I want you to put it in your calendars if you're taking some notes that a little over a month, September 22nd, write that date down, you will have exactly 100 days left in 2020 to finish strong. So, and I say that because now you, you know that you have 30 days until the countdown of 100 days left in the month. And what are you going to do to grow your business, to finish strong, and to roll into 2021. You know, I know we've been we've been affected by the uh, the COVID-19. We've had to learn to shift and pivot. We've heard all those those key words. Um, my advice to you between now and September 22nd is to do some self uh, reflection, some introspection, and what has happened these last eight months of you personally and professionally, and did what I call do a brain dump. Just write everything down personally that's gone on in your life for the last eight months, everything uh, professionally, the good, the bad, and the ugly, so you can summarize that, and then you can put into play a game plan for the, for the next uh, 100 days to finish strong, and also where you can put in some time management for goal setting, because most people should have their 2021 goals planned by October 1st. Because if not, you're going to be 90 days behind the curveball if you wait till January to come up with a game plan. So definitely look at taking a legacy mind shift and doing some introspection and, and of what's going on. Uh, priority. Um, one of the things that's a priority is regarded as more important than another. You know, each of you have chose to invest in yourself this week. You invested in beautiful faces going places. You've been here. You've been uh, dedicated. You've been loyal. You showed up. We've had amazing speakers and presenters. And, and you made it a priority to be here. So it's a fact or condition of being regarded as more important. The right to take precedence before others and something that is more important than other things that needs to be done or dealt with first. So really the true champions here today are each and every one of you because you made it a priority to invest in yourself. So give yourself a round of applause for that. Okay, so now we're gonna get into it. We're gonna dive into the three C's of a legacy mind shift. Um, the first one is confidence. The second one is control. And the third one is consistency. And I'm gonna break these three uh, C's down because I believe that they, have an, a, they play a role in everything that we do on a day-to-day -day basis with our goals. So confidence is when your self-image aligns with your business image. 
people are buying you, not your product. And I'm going to say this again. Confidence is when your self-image aligns with you, aligns with your business image, and people are buying you, not your product. And I'm not, I'm not, not going to ask for a show of hands, but I just want you to think about your level from a scale of one to five, with five being the highest, of how confident are you on that scale today about you personally and professionally, with five being the highest. You know, most people in as an entrepreneur uh, just starting out or maybe even been in business for a long time, they lack confidence. You see, the me I see is the me I want to be. And who you are in your life is who you are in your business life. And I'm going to say that again. Who you are in your life is who you are in your business life. So if I was to hold up a mirror or we're on Zoom, you can see your, your picture there. When you look on Zoom and you see your picture, what do you see in terms of your values, your strengths, and how you operate in your life? You know, is it something that's scary? Is it something that's good? Is it something that you feel that you need to work on certain things? See, what you see, your potential clients and your clients see magnified 10 times higher. So if you see somebody that's lacking, if you find yourself lacking uh, confidence, then the people that you're speaking with, your potential clients, your clients, they see it magnified 10 times. So it's very important not to be afraid of success and to build confidence. Now the next C is control. And the amount of control you have in your business affects your income and your happiness. And you're saying, well, Celeste, what do you mean by control? So there's a couple of things that you can control in your business and your personal life. You can control the number of conversations you have with potential clients, true or false. You know, we, we have lead generation, we have leads that come in, and so you can control the number of conversations you have with potential clients. We can control how many networking events we're going to attend. Again, you guys made an investment to show up at Beautiful Faces Going Places this week. You've had five days of fabulous off-the-chart networking opportunities as well as education to invest in yourself. We can also control the number of potential clients that you follow up with. So I'm not going to ask a show of hands, but each day this week, I know Carol's had breakout sessions. We've met new people. We, we also have... Uh, friendships in here that we've been friends for a long time. And how many times have you followed up from these people since Monday? I'm not going to ask you to answer that. I just want you to think about that. We can also control the kind of interactions you have, the phone calls, the emails, the social media, etc. Those are all the things that we can control. What we can't control is that number at the end of the month. I'm going to say that again. What we can't control is that number at the end of the month. You see, a potential client becomes a client through a real conversation. So I want you to write down how many conversations have you had this week with new clients or new potential clients, uh, new lead generation, people from this week's Beautiful Faces Going Places. How many real conversations have you had or had you just sent an email or sent a text message or a messenger? Anybody have any comments or willing to volunteer about that right this minute? Cynthia, you're shaking your head. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to call on you if you'll unmute yourself. This is, you know, you're on the hot spot. Nobody's going to get away easy. So I see you shaking your head, unmute yourself, and tell me what, what you're thinking right this minute. I'm just feeling extremely convicted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty of not, not doing enough actual conversing with people, relying on texts and emails, and not even doing that enough most of the time. So. Well, and, and we're all guilty of that, Cynthia. It's not putting you really on the spot because I promise you, for what you just said, everybody on this call, if they were very truthful with themselves, they would probably have the same answer that they, there could be improvement and how they can converse and have conversations and follow up. So, you know, again, 
this is not to, to criticize, condemn, or complain with anybody. I just really want to get you to have a mind shift of where you're at in your business and how sometimes we get in a comfort zone and that we need to get out of that comfort zone. And in order to build relationships, we have to have real conversations. Now, even with COVID-19, you can still have real conversations through Zoom meetings, you know, individual Zoom calls or picking up the phone, you know, but just don't hide behind the computer by sending a, a message on Facebook or Twitter or an email because, you know, that's not a real relationship. And to be honest with you, I don't know if they're not, you know, I can't tell you how many delete, 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 delete. I do every single day on my LinkedIn and my social media that people want to try to sell me something, this or that, and they don't even know me and they haven't even offered to build a relationship with me. I don't, I don't do business with people that I can't have a relationship with first. I mean, that's me. It works for me. It may not work for somebody else. Okay. The next C is consistency is the key that holds everything together. If you consistently take the action, the money you're seeking is always going to be there. So now, again, I want you to rate yourself one to five in consistency. How are you doing in lead generation on a day-to-day -day basis? How are you doing um, consistently on setting up complimentary sales calls? How are you consistently setting up follow-up? Following up from emails or uh, messages or on, on the social media sites or people that have been driven to your website. How are you consistently following up, okay? So you can consistently keep doing the same wrong thing over and over and, that's, and, and it's always going to be wrong. So why keep doing that? And if you consistently follow a system every single day and a week, you'll reach your goals. See, consistency is where our closing average in sales goes from one out of 10 down to one out of eight, one out of six, one out of three, you know, one out of two. It's the consistency. And again, if you consistently follow the system every single day and week, you'll reach your goals. It's impossible not to reach your goals because the system is proven. Okay, the four steps to a legacy mind shift. And, and this is going to help you map out the rest of 2020. So number one is establish your goals. I'm not going to ask a show of hand of how many, of you, how many of you have written goals. And some of us may have taken those goals and just ripped them up and thrown them in the garbage since COVID-19. Go back, please, Marianne. Sorry. Uh, you know, so you want to establish your goals. And, and we're going to get into that. You want to know your numbers. How many of you know, let's say we're almost at the end of August. How many of you know how many lead generation leads you created in June, July, and August? How many phone calls have you had in June, July, and August? How many um, follow-up calls have you had? What is your closing average? You have to know your numbers. And then you run the formula and then you follow the system. Okay. So let's get into establish your goals. This is really huge. You want to set three personal goals um, and create goals that get you to move. So I like to call on people right here. And so I'm, I'm going to pick on Brandy here right this minute. You know, Brandy, what are some, what are some personal goals that if you don't mind sharing, get you to move? I'm sorry, three personal goals in that what? I'm sorry? They get you to move. They get me to move. Because that's the so, key. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think every day I have a morning ritual um, where I get up. I've got two young kids and a husband. So every morning I try to get up before the house and I use that time to, as you're mentioning, Celeste, to sort of reflect, um, understand kind of, you know, um, where the day is headed, um, priorities, and then also some goal setting and um, just some time to be. Uh, and uh, so I certainly uh, make it a priority to follow that morning ritual. Okay. And so another thing for me is I always, even through COVID, I've been trying to plan out my weeks that give me something to look forward to. So for example, 
um, this virtual week here. Um, this was allowing me an opportunity to meet new people, which is another goal of mine is to start building out my network and uh, trying to create that, that brand. And as you had just mentioned in the previous slide, which I really appreciated was um, who you are in your business life is who you are in your personal life. And so really just trying to connect with other people who carry the same sort of um, aspirations and, and mindsets that, that I do. And, um, and that motivates me um, and uh, connecting with other people uh, and learning and personal development is certainly, um, you know, always top of mind for me. I'm sort of a personal development fanatic as some of you on the call already know, as I've mentioned in, in previous calls. And so um, just the opportunity to be here today, I feel like that's a win um, for me. And uh, so, yeah, those are just a few, hopefully that answers the question, but. All right. And that's good, you know, because this is there's no right or wrong answer. It's all individually. So, you know, establish your goals, personal goals, create personal, create personal goals that get you to move and set three personal goals for the next 30 days and make sure they're specific. So personal and business goals are definitely separate. So some personal goals may be that, um, you know, maybe you have um, children that you want to send to private school. Maybe you, have, you haven't had a family vacation. Maybe there's, there's a family vacation that you want to do. So, you know, those are goals. Usually when it has to do with children and family, those are going to be personal goals that will get you to move. You know, maybe you haven't had a, maybe you haven't had a date night with your spouse or your partner in a very, very long time. You know, what gets scheduled gets done. So maybe it's important for you to say that you want to have a family game night or you want to have a personal date night with your spouse or partner. You know, that is huge because those are some of the goal, personal goals that will get you to move. It may be that you have a money goal to save money. But whatever it is, it has to get you to move. You can't just write it down and say, oh, this sounds good. And, you know, it's got to get you to move to take action. Now, your business goals, you have to create business goals specifically for your client business and set three business goals for the next 30 days. So, you, you know, I'm going to give you some ideas because, we're, you know, I'm, I'm trying to cram up. A whole workshop in here for you guys and, and I will be glad to have a complimentary call with anybody to go into detail more detail with you but in your business goals so number one one thing that I that I, I talk specifically with my clients is if you can uh, what some people call it their elevator pitch the 30 second their 60 second whatever it is if you haven't mastered that that pitch or that talk that should be first and foremost for the next 30 days because people are buying you and you have to be able to master what you do and convey in a conversation of what you do. So if you haven't mastered that, I encourage you to do that. Uh, the second thing um, uh, that you may want to do besides mastering your elevator pitch or your 60 second talk is master one way that you want to market for the next 30 days, whether it be Facebook, whether it be LinkedIn, social media, whether it's workshops, um, whatever it is, Zoom calls, you need to master one way first. There's several different arenas to do it, but master one way first before you take on another, okay? And then one of the third things, so we, we gotta know our talk, our elevator pitch, we need to, uh, how we're going to present ourselves during this COVID-19, uh, whether it be through Zoom, Facebook, whatever it's going to be. Okay. And, and then the other thing is, is lead generation. Is start with X amount of leads. Now, everybody has a different set of goals for leads for how many leads they need for a closing average. And I'm going to get to this in a minute. So, if you need, let's say that you need 100 leads a week, and I'm just using that as a figure, because I use the 50% rule. If you're, your goal is to get 100 leads a week, out of those 100 leads, 50 of those people you might connect with, and out of those 50 people you connect with, maybe 25 of those people will set an appointment with you, and out of those 25, maybe 12 and a half of them will hold up, and then out of those 12 and a half that hold up, 
what would be your closing average if you had 12 conversations this week with your product and knowledge, what would be your closing ratio? And so we're gonna to get to that. So lead generation would be my third thing. And I'm starting from just ground zero because I feel with COVID-19, some of us, maybe our businesses are just flourishing and some of us maybe were lacking some things. And I always believe go back to the basics and start at the very beginning because you can pick up momentum fast. So let's go on to number two, know your numbers. Numbers create a legacy business and every business has a magic number of leads. I sort of just talked about this. So you're gonna run the formula. So let's look at the last six months. So again, I want you to write this down. How many conversations did you have with potential clients for the last six months? And some of you maybe can answer that and some of you maybe can't. If, if I had to guess, and I would probably say a majority of people could not answer that question because they're not tracking their numbers. Mary, could you go to the next slide, please? Yep. So, that yes, that's it, thank you. So how many of those potential clients became actual clients in the last six months? Can you answer that? And now you have two numbers, your potential clients, your actual clients, you divide one number into the other and it's going to give you your closing ratio. So we really need to know. So let's just say that we were networking on Zoom because God knows we did this massively March, April, May, June, or whatever. I mean, we were on Zoom every day, two, three times a day. And you should have been collecting and generating leads. And some of you maybe didn't track those. So I'm encouraging you from this day forward, you don't have a pass not to know your lead generation because you have been made aware how important it is to track those numbers because those lead generations will tell you um, how many leads you need to have phone calls or, or in-person meetings for closing averages. Okay. Oops, so I'm... yeah, no, that's right. We're, I'm ready to move on to okay. number four, follow the system. How many actual clients do you want to have at any given time? We have a wide spectrum of different people on, on the call here today. Um, I'm going to use, let's say, a coaching or consulting business. So if four conversations equal one client, my magic number is 10. I have to have 10 conversations. Okay. So 10 actual clients is my magic number. I think I got that right. I didn't backwards that on us. Four conversations, one client. I want 10. So really, my magic number is 40 is what it is for 10 clients. That's what I meant to say. Okay, let's go on to the next thing because this is the heart and soul um, sales and leads. We'll go to the next slide. And, and this is what I, if you don't do anything, I want this to be the light bulb that comes on for you today. All right. So up at the top, um, Let's click the next click, if you would, just one click, Marianne. All right, there's a dollar sign up at the top. So I want you to write a dollar sign down on a piece of paper, and that is your monthly goal. You know, what is your monthly goal that you want to make? And I want you to write that down. Now we'll click the next one, Marianne, please. So, oops, you clicked too many. We just want one. We want the leads. So what we're going to do is where are we gonna get our leads from? So here's some areas where you can get leads. We get them from networking, speaking, list building, referrals, cold calls, social media, business groups, blogs, magazines, sponsors. You know, this is just a few, Zoom calls. I mean, you know, they just, they just move on. So I want you to look at the $3 signs to the right. And I'm going to ask, Brandy, can you make any money without leads? No. All right. Carol, are you with us, Carol? Carol, can I'm you make... with you. <laughs> All right. Can you make any money without appointments? Absolutely not. Cynthia, can you make any money without complimentary sales calls? Nope. <laughs> Carol, can you make any money without sales? No, <laughs> absolutely not. 
So why do we get up every single day focusing on money and how much money we need? See, money is the byproduct of leads mm -hmm. because leads sets the process in place that will get you the money. So every day you need to get up and focus on your lead generation first and where are you getting leads? So, you know, I don't know uh, a lot. I don't know everything about everybody on the call here today, but some of you that maybe have websites, are you generating leads on your website? You have a Facebook page, you have social media pages. Um, you're doing workshops through Zoom. Um, you're speaking, you know, through Zoom, just like I'm doing here today. Anytime you get an opportunity to speak, um, you want to get your message out there. Speaking is the fastest path to cash. And anytime Carol has an opportunity, you need to send her an email today and say, Carol, I want to speak on beautiful places going places. It's the fastest path to cash. And what a phenomenal group that Carol has that she gives us a platform to speak. People pay big dollars to have a platform to speak. You can also create your own platform, but why not use other people's platforms as well to build relationships when you truly are here to serve first, okay? So think about where you're getting your, your leads from. The, you know, Marianne has a magazine. I have a magazine. You know, it's on my website. You know, every day there's people that have signed up for my magazine. Every day people signed up for my blog. If you're not blogging, I encourage you to create one of your business goals is maybe to create a blog in the next 90 days. Because now that makes you an expert when you are educating and informing and empowering people about your product or service. Now you have become an expert. And it needs to be, remember the third C, consistency? Every 30 at 9.30 in the morning, Carol, what comes in your inbox? Your blog article. <laughs> My blog article. It's every Thursday at 930. I've been doing it for seven years. And I remember when I first started my consulting business, my online business manager said, Celeste, you just don't need to spend all this money in the blogging and blah, blah, blah. People don't open them, blah, 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 blah. And, and you know what? She come back, she say, you know what? You are the only client I have that proves me wrong on this because your open rate is over 50% on your blogs. You want to know why? couple of things. I give good value, good content, I, but it's consistent, consistently there every Thursday at 930. There's something there that's educational, empowering, and informing that people can take and utilize in their business. And so again, you know, you have, you have blogs. So now we have leads. What do we do with the leads? We want to take these leads and turn them into appointments. Now appointments are a date, time, and place. And I'm going to say this again, an appointment is a date, time, and place. Have any of you ever set an appointment up, maybe through email or text message, and it didn't hold up and they canceled or didn't show up? Mm -hmm. Everybody raise your hand. I know that's happened to you, you know. Um, again, what we have to do is we have to commit and recommit. See, an appointment is an appointment unless you commit and recommit. So if I ran into Marianne at the, at the grocery store and I said, Marianne, I haven't seen you in a while. I'd love to get together and catch up. And Marianne says, great. And I say, okay, I'll call you. Is Marianne and I going to ever get together? No. Okay. But if I said, Marianne, I haven't seen you in a while. I'd really love to catch up. I'd love to learn more about the hip senior. How can I help and serve you? Are you available Monday, August 31st at 10 o'clock? for a virtual cup of coffee. What's Marianne going to say? Yes, I'd love to have coffee with you Monday the 31st at 10 a.m. So now it's, I have committed. I committed the appointment and then I came back and recommitted the appointment. And the chances are it's going to hold up a lot stronger than just say, I'll call you. Especially right? if you remind me the night before. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh <-huh. laughs> so, so, so your leads turn into appointments, okay? So now what do we do with these appointments? They are what I call a complimentary sales call. Now that can be, it used to be you do these, um, you can do them on the phone, you can do them in person, we do them in Zoom. 
but we have to have complimentary sales calls. So write down on a piece of paper, let's back up. I want you to write down how many leads you're getting a week. So just right off the top of your head, if you know, how many leads did you get this week? How many appointments have you set this week? And how many complimentary sales calls have you done as of today? Mm -hmm. And this is not to embarrass anybody. Wow. Okay. So basically what you want to do is you want to have three comp your goal should be to have three complimentary sales calls a day because your closing average, you know, I say a, a, a brand new person's closing average is one out of six. A more experienced is one out of three. So if you have three a day, the chances are you're going to sell one product or service that day. That's 15 a week. That's 60 a month. Now, do you do that consistently day in and day out, week in and week out, month in and month out? No, but that needs to be a goal. And you got to figure out what works for you. So your sales, if you're doing three complimentary sales calls a day, number one is you should get up every single day and believe that you're going to make a sale. How many of you got up today and the minute both feet hit the floor, you said, I'm going to make a sale today. See, if we don't say it and we don't believe it, it's not going to happen. You have to believe that we're going, that you're going to make a sale. And the reason that sometimes people don't believe that is number one is they don't have any leads to call. They haven't set any appointments up and they don't have any complimentary sales calls. So therefore, how can I get a sale? You see the, you see the process right there. And if you did 15 a week, you know, just think about it, Carol, if you had 15 potential client uh, sales calls a week, how many of those would you close into success summit members? Ten. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So, so again, so you see my point. So the lead goal down there, it says, you know, you have to make this work for you. These are just generic numbers on this 400 a month, hundred a week, 20 a day. That sounds like a lot. But if you're networking consistently, if you have um, social media sites, you have websites, you have blogs, you have magazines, you know, it is nothing for me to have 20 uh, leads a day come in between all my things that, that I do. So then we turn them into the appointments. So my recommendation to you is so not to overwhelm you, you know, start out with 100 a month, 25 a week. Okay, and whatever that is a day, you know, uh, seven a day or, you know, whatever it is for you. So just, you know, break it down that's doable for you. And in what you will find is the money that you set for your month, you're not focusing on making money, you're focusing on the lead generation that will get you the money that you set for yourself. Does that make sense? Any questions on that so far? I see a lot of eyes and deers and headlights. I see a lot of head shaking. Um, go ahead, Cynthia. I'm going to call on you. And Brandy, Brandy's one of her. She's just got that smile. I got those big eyes looking like, I don't know what's going on. Brandy's yeah, mind right this I minute. I love what I'm hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on that? Did, did, a, did a light bulb go on for you for this? Most Me? definitely. Oh. Could, could, could we all agree that maybe we have it, we could do a better job of tracking our numbers and, and focusing on leads as opposed to sales? Well, I was going right. to I mean, for me, I don't feel like this is really new information. I, you know, like we, at some level we know this, this makes it so clear and it makes it seem so easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had people that, you know, you have to know your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, you have a hobby. Not a business. Okay. I get all that. But I'm like, you're talking me through this. I'm like, I can do this. This isn't scary. This isn't bigger than, you know. Exactly. <laughs> well, and it comes into accountability, Teresa. And I apologize I didn't call on you. My screen only had a few handful of people and I didn't realize we had some other people in the call. So I wasn't ignoring you. Um, <laughs> you know, but, but it's a proven system. I've spent 42 years in direct sales. And I have, I have trained and developed some of the top salespeople for corporations. And it boils down to accountability of basic fundamentals and following it. 
and, and tracking those numbers. And a lot of people don't want to track it. And you know what? The people that aren't tracking, I will show you people that are dead broke and that are starving and they don't have a consistent business. And, and you know, and that's basically what I do is, is that I, as I help people and I serve people through my sales and knowledge and helping you grow your business because a lot of people think sales is very difficult and there is an art to sales. But in order to learn to close, we've got to learn to create leads and what we do with those leads. And we have to learn to have conversations and we have to role play and there's different types of conversations. And I'll get into that at, at another time. So I want to, I want to, I've got a limited amount of time here. So I want to breeze through just a couple of other things um, to, I want to, Marianne, if you can go to the top four issues of slowing revenue growth, there's a couple more slides. There you go. You know, time management. I encourage you to get a sheet. Uh, you can get one of these, you can Google it, or we have somebody in the group that can get you one. Um, but a sheet that goes from eight to eight at night and just Monday through Sunday. And, and this is a time management sheet. And, and I'm a Christian, so the first thing you're going to put in this time management sheet, you're going to put all your spiritual things in there first, what, whether it be your church, your Bible study, um, any of those things, your, your, your devotion time, you're going to put all that in your time management calendar first, all right? Then the second thing is your family. Then what you're going to schedule in that time management, you're going to put all your family functions, your children's functions, your husband's functions, your date nights, your, your family game nights, your dinner nights, whatever it is, your family functions are going to go in that time management from 8 in the a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Sunday. And then the third thing is now you're going to put your, your business in there. And you're going to put your networking events. You're going to put any workshops, any speaking engagements. Um, you're going to put in your ROIs, your return on your investments. And usually ROIs are your phone calls, your, your follow-ups. And that, I encourage you to make that first thing in the morning. Nothing gets in the way of making your money make your phone calls first thing in the morning. Um, you know, for whatever time you start your day after your devotions and whatever you do, then you get on the phone and you do your follow-up and your phone calls and, and your appointments that are scheduled. And, and track that for 30 days. I dare anybody to do it and track it. And I promise you, you will improve your time management, you improve your, your business, and you'll improve your, your lead generation. Everything will improve. And the problem is we have just gotten complacent and in a comfort zone that we need that little bit of push. And if you need accountability, you know, pick somebody in this group to be accountable to, um, or, you know, send it to me, Celeste at CelesteGiordano.com. Send me your progress. I'll respond back to you, but track your time management. The next thing is getting prospects to take action um, and no systematic selling process and lack of referrals. And these four, uh, uh, so, uh, issues of slowing revenue growth. I'm going to get to this in a minute. It's going to be covered in a brand new workshop that I'm going to be doing uh, with Shannon Donacy, uh, Deborah Fawaz, and Sarah Poe. I pulled this out of my vault, and we're going we're to cover this in September. So just mark that down. That's important. Let's go to the next one, if you don't mind, Marianne, please. Uh, the four keys to legacy sales. Tone mastery, inviting objections, key commitments, and complimentary sales calls. These last two slides are as a brand new workshop that I'm putting into place. You know, there's three different types of conversations you have with potential clients. Uh, you have to learn to weave ob inviting objections into your sales conversation because a lot of times, how many times you get, I have to think about it, I have to talk to my spouse, you know, I've got to, you know, talk to the dog, whatever it is, you get your objections and objections should be brought out in your sales conversation. Um, key commitments is where you ask key committing questions during your sales conversations. And then here's the key, write this down, key commitments slash recommitments. People have a tendency to tell, telling isn't selling. So key commitments is, is where you're asking questions and then you go back and you re-ask the questions where I would say, you know, Carol, so let me see if I understand you correctly. And I repeat that same question that she answers back. So now she's not going to lie to me at the end because if I asked a key committing question and I recommitted it, 
do you think it's going to surface in the end? No, because people truly want to tell you the truth. They're a person of their word, but we have a tendency to tell people things instead of commit and recommit. And then the last thing is complimentary sales calls. There is an art to complimentary sales calls, and we're going to teach you and role play with you on, on how to have these complimentary sales calls. And then we're going to go on to the next one, which is uh, best business operating strategies. And I just want to uh, go through this. This is so important as a business entrepreneur, uh, direct sales team, uh, business entrepreneur, brick and mortar business. Uh, you need to have these people, these professional services, you need to have relationships with them because you're going to need them at some point in your life. One of the first things you do with almost all my clients is we set them up with an accountant, bookkeeper, or CPA. You want to have a relationship with an attorney because at some point you're going to need an attorney, uh, whether it be for intellectual property or somebody has done something, you need an attorney. You need to have a relationship with a banker. We live in a digital era today, but guess what? Everything is direct deposit for me and my husband and everything, but there isn't a month go by that I don't walk into my bank and say hello to the banker and ask how things are going. Maybe I'll cash a check or something because I want that banker, you know, they know me. When I come in, hi, Mrs. Giordano, so great to see you today. They know me by name. Does your banker know you by name? If not, you need to start going in there because you, at one point your business is going to grow and flourish and you may need to go in there and get a business loan to grow your business. A uh, financial advisor, I know we've had, Carol's had numerous financial advisors on here. Um, you want to make sure that, I don't care if you're making $1 profit, have a financial advisor and, and have a relationship with them and have a program that you're doing. Your insurance agent. We have a lot of great insurance agents up there um, in the Cincinnati area, uh, Doris and all the other people. So, you know, have a relationship, you know, do a review of your insurance. Are you properly covered? You know, do you have the proper business insurance? Uh, if you're a nonprofit, do you have the proper nonprofit insurance? You know, if you're using your car for business and you're transporting people, are you covered if you're transporting um, clients in your car? You know, that's a good question for you. I would ask your insurance agent on that. Uh, social media manager. We have great ones. We have Marianne Bailey here. We have Shannon. We have so many. You know, have a relationship with a social media person and a VA or online business manager for seven years. I've had an online business manager work with me. You know, if it, it's not because of me, it's my online business manager that makes sure my business runs smoothly. They make sure the blog's out every Thursday at 830. Um, they, they make sure the websites are up to date. So make sure you have a relationship with them and maybe you can't afford, you know, some of these that cost money right away, but have a relationship with them. Um, and with that, uh, Marianne, let's just go on to skip to the two, over two, two of these, if you would go on one. Yeah. Um, in order to learn, grow, achieve, and prosper so you can achieve your goals, set your goals for the week and month, track your numbers, have constant communication with a, a business coach mentor two to four times a month and attend masterminds events. And we'll go to the last thing. And my gift to you, take a screenshot of this, take a picture with your phone, is you can crack your bank code at www.mybankcode.com backslash Giordano. It'll give you a 17 page report about your personality and about sales. And I'll be glad to have a discovery phone call with anybody um, on here. And I just appreciate the opportunity to serve you because truly my heart is all about helping you. I spent 42 years in direct sales and um, I didn't have a lot of time to serve in the community and to give back. And the second half of my life is really more about philanthropy and giving back. And it's also about helping a few, a handful of select people grow their business um, to the top. Thank you, Carol. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much, Celeste. Thank um, you. I've got to say, I actually had several aha moments today and, um, and I'm ready to implement your systems, your strategies here and to really focus. As you said, September 22nd, we will have 100 days remaining in 2020. It is yes. now time to really stay focused 
and put together a, that lead generation sales strategy um, to set us up for success, right? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yes, we're all in this together. And, um, and I, I know everyone on this call, um, they all have sales goals, uh, business goals, and uh, interested in succeeding. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and open this up for Q&A. I mean, we have the experts sitting here with us today. Um, this is our opportunity to uh, share your insights or maybe your biggest takeaways from Celeste's presentation or get some of your questions answered. I have a quick question. Yes, I please. In, in case I have to leave. Um, so when you're talking about tracking your numbers and knowing your numbers and all that, um, are you suggesting you use a CRM? Are you suggesting a spreadsheet or a database or whatever works for you? What, whatever what works for you. I'm old school. So I can tell you right now that I use uh, a lot of pen and paper. Okay. So number one, like tracking on my lead generation and everything. So I do have Infusionsoft for a CRM that tracks a lot of the stuff that comes online. But as far as my goals and lead generation, I have a desktop uh, calendar that sits on my thing. I have a, a daily planner and they're all duplicated. Whatever goes on my desktop goes into my daily planner and my digital calendar. I don't so much put the, those numbers in there because I like to read stuff. And then I get a printout from my CRM of what's come in for lead generation from my CRM, Marianne. So it's got to be what works for you. But the important thing is, I believe you have to see it. And that's why I like the desktop because you can write down, you're at your desk anyway most of the time right now with COVID-19. If I had three complimentary phone calls, I put three on there. And you know, if I made a sale, I put, I put a slash and then a one. And if I had 20 leads that day, I put 20 leads. Um, I can go back to, I've got 10 years worth of desktop calendars right here behind me that I could pull out that would just have all that. You could ask me any month, any day, and I could go back for the last 10 years and give you that information. Did that answer, answer it for you, Marianne? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Teresa. Um, has to do with something. Um, what? I said it has to do with something. I forgot what it was. Um, I liked Marianne's question about the... Um, Oh, what do you think about digital calendars? Like some sending somebody a calendar link. I, um, you know, I, I have something on the, that last slide. If you took a picture of it, did everybody get a picture of it? It has a, a link to my calendar to schedule an appointment, you know. Um, but a lot of times I don't, I personally set them. I don't, I don't generally drive people to an itty bitty link or whatever to do this. I like to set that up personally one-on-one -on -one with people when I'm talking to them. Uh, because I'm not afraid to have sales conversations and I talk to a lot of people. I'm not one to converse with a lot of email traffic, this or that. You know, I'll pick the phone up and say, you know, I can say this a whole lot faster than I can, than I can write it. So I, I'm just a talker. I like to talk and Carol, I, you know, I call Carol, you know, usually around once a week we have a conversation and she'll send me this email and I'll just say, you know, Carol, I just thought I'd just call you <laughs> because that's me. You know, but that, that may not be you. You know, sometimes I think we get bogged down and a lot of things that are made to make our work simpler and easier are good, but I'm old school, I'm old fashioned. I, li I like the old school way, but that doesn't mean it, it won't work for you. Did that help you, Teresa? It did, thank you very much. I, I appreciate your answer too, because I think I feel exactly the same way you do. I like it personal, I like it old school, but at the same time, it, I feel like it's also necessary and very helpful. Like you said, you know, when you're in this, in this example, you know, in this um, atmosphere, whatever, that, you know, okay, now it's easy for us to like get with you and, and schedule something. So. Well, you know what, you want to double your revenue right now? Get on hands with your business. We have gotten into a digital era that we rely on everything to go digital and we only respond when something comes across digital. You want to double your income right now? Get your hands on hands and get get a get get a grip by it. Love that. Love that. Awesome. Well, yeah. Yes, ma'am. 
think you did a wonderful job today. Thank you. Uh, yes. I just said, I, I think you did a wonderful job. Thank you for sharing all the powerful information. Um, I think one of the, the, the biggest takeaways for me is, um, you know, during this time, I think that we can maximize our schedules with some of the flex time maybe that we do have that we didn't have before. Right. Just, just this week, I've been able to, I made it a point to connect with seven people that um, I wanted to sit down with or have breakfast with or connect, you know, our kids on a play date that gave us an opportunity to connect as mothers and as friends and, and all of these people as well. Um, you know, I, I think about building my brand and, um, and sort of understanding uh, who my future client may be. And, um, and, really taking the opportunity to uh, kind of immerse myself into situations um, such as this, networking with people, meeting new faces, mm -hmm. um, but then also connecting with my close network to make sure that those relationships are continue to stabilize and grow and develop and mature. Um, so I, I think that to your point around what gets scheduled gets done, there's so much truth to that. And I think Absolutely. that we are very accountable to that. So right. yeah, a great nudge. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Well, Celeste, this was just uh, so phenomenal, so impactful. I was just typing in the chat box uh, how everyone can connect with you or contact you. Thank I know you. I actually took a physical picture of your, your last slide and we'll take advantage of your, your free offers and your bonuses, but if you don't mind sharing. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, we do have a, I do have a, a gift that I'd like to do. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to get in trouble for this. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for this. Uh, we're, doing a, we're doing a workshop on September 16th and 17th. Shannon Donise, uh, Deborah Fawaz, an image consultant, as well as Sarah Poe, a CPA. And it's going to be from 12 to 1.30 on, on Wednesday, September 16th, and on Thursday, September 17th, from 12 to 1.30. And then we're going to do a bonus session uh, Thursday night from 5 to 6 p.m. It's business boot camp. Is it time to reboot? That's the title of it. Uh, I've known these people for a very, very long time. I've, and matter of fact, um, I, I've worked with Sarah for seven years. I've worked with Deborah Fawaz for three years. And these are phenomenal ladies. So what I'm going to do, I was supposed to give away one free ticket. Um, and I'm going to give away two. And this is a $37 value, and then I'll just take it up with the team later. <laughs> so, um, you know, what I'd like for you to do is to put, include, make sure you include Marianne into this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, put the, put the names in there, and you, Carol, if you would draw two names out, then wow. we will have two winners that will, and, if, and please let us know that, you're, that you take it serious and you're going to be there. Um, then you will have a, a complimentary ticket to the two-day uh, it's over four hours worth of content. It's going to be amazing, amazing content that we're going to do. So that's my gift to, to uh, the people on the call here today that we will have two tickets for it. Okay. Do you want me to do this drawing as soon as we wrap up? And then yeah, you can, you can do it. I, I trust you that you just draw two names out yeah. and, you know, announce it for us if you would, please. Yes. And it is a $37 value. And this is going to be some great content. I'm excited because when I retired 42 years ago, I don't, I don't mind telling this quick, short story. I invested $30,000 in my content out of my brain. I, I paid somebody $30,000 to bring all of my sales content out of my mind and create it into uh, programs. And so this program has been in the vault for seven years and I haven't done anything with it. This, this program I did for you today has been my signature talk for seven years. This new program is about the sales conversations. It's about the objections. It's about the closing. And it's the heart and soul of my building a legacy business program of, of, with my clients that I work with. 
And this will be the first time that I'll be presenting this. And I'm very, very excited because it's the, it's the heart and soul of what makes you, to, what, what gets me to move and what has given me the opportunity to help other people move. That's awesome. I know I'm just chatting a little bit more in the, in the um, chat box. I just wanted to make sure that everyone was aware. It's Wednesday, September 16th and 17th. Um, it's a boot camp, a uh, business boot camp with Celeste Giordano, Deborah Fawa, Sarah Poe, and Shannon Donaste. So um, we're going to draw two lucky winners, uh, and I will make sure that they're announced in our final wrap, out, uh, wrap up uh, video that all of our attendees will be uh, receiving uh, later on today. And then um, the best place for them to uh, register for others out there in the world uh, that wanna join this fabulous uh, Reboot Your Business uh, boot camp that you're offering. Um, are, are tickets available on Eventbrite? They are, they're on Eventbrite. And I think that, um... Shannon may have put something in Beautiful Faces Going Places last night. We did a live sneak peek video. If you haven't seen it, go in there and watch it. Um, it's very, it's, it was very interesting and funny. And, um, but yeah, there you can go in there and you can register with it. It's going to be a great, uh, it's going to be a great opportunity to reboot. And it's right before September 22nd. So for the next 100 days, you're going to be on point to finish this year strong and hopefully we're going to make sure that you get your goals done for 2021 because you know what it's still a great year we're alive today we have so many things to be blessed with and thankful for and um you know i get up every single day and it doesn't matter about the COVID 19 i don't live in fear i live in faith and and i am just blessed every day that i have an opportunity to live and to serve and to help other people and to me that's a great day well, thank you so much, Celeste. It has been a great day. Thank you so much for your fabulous presentation and your uh, sales and business strategies and insights. And um, I, you are just a gift to the world. So thank you so much, well, Celeste. Thank you, thank you yeah. Carol, you are too. Aw, well, I think we are going to go ahead and wrap this up. I wanna say thank you so much for uh, joining us and spending time with us here at Virtual Business Week. Beautiful Faces Going Places Women's Success Network. It's been an incredible week. This is the third time that we've actually hosted this event. I am looking forward to number four in October. And um, as Celeste has shared with us, um, I'm on a mission as well to finish 2020 strong um, and would love to help you in any way that I can. So um, if you don't mind, we were, we're just gonna do a real quick, um, say your name and your company before we log off and say goodbye to everyone until we see each other net what? next time on our virtual networking events um, and uh, other programming online. So go ahead, Cynthia, you kick it off. Hey, uh, Cynthia Strauss, the Strauss Agency, and I provide peace of mind by delivering services which ensure you and your loved ones are taken care of during any of life's emergencies. Awesome, Cynthia. And Brandy. Yes, Brandy White. Uh, my business is in pursuit mode, coming soon. A place to learn, inspire, and to connect. Thank you so much, Celeste. You're welcome, Brandy. All right, Teresa. I'm Teresa Vermillion. My business is Lighter Life Coach. I take the best personal development and life coaching strategies and merge them with my expertise in health and fitness so you can have a lighter body and a lighter life. Awesome. Love that. And Carol. Hello, I'm Carol Walkner. My business is uh, the Power and Light Company, and I'm an energy healer. And in, especially now, I help people release and alleviate anxiety, stress, and grief. And we're looking forward to your Spark Conversations Make New Connections on August the 27th. So be sure to register for that. Um, we're looking forward to that event, Carol. Thank you so much. Well, thank, thank you. you everyone for joining us here at Beautiful Faces Going Places and uh, stop in and visit all of these beautiful faces at our .com site, beautifulfacesgoingplaces.com. All right, take care and have a great day. Thanks so thank, much. Thank you. Thank you, thank everyone. You. Bye. Thank, thank you, Celeste. Thank, thank you, Carol. my pleasure. Thank you, Celeste. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, everyone.